Elon Musk would always say, the best part is no part, and the best process is no process. Some of you are probably wondering to yourself, what the heck does that even mean? Well, I'll tell you. You see, when it comes to Tesla and their innovation, they have been removing the fat from their company. And when I say that, I mean the extra parts and extra processes that are not necessary to be there in order to create an automobile. They are so good at this that most engineers are completely baffled at how fast and how well they are doing this. And this is mainly coming from Tesla, and I'm sure the same over at SpaceX, basically the companies that Elon Musk runs. If you can figure out how to do things with less steps and less parts, this sets you apart from everyone else and makes you a much better engineer. And that's what Elon Musk is at heart. You see... When it comes to Tesla and their factory, they've been removing parts and processes to the point to where they have removed up to 40% of the equipment and parts and processes needed inside their factory floors. So this is a huge deal for people who do not understand. Just imagine you have a factory and you figured out how to remove 40% of all the unnecessary parts and processes. That means you now have more space inside your factory and you're putting out more cars. Matter of fact, let's just say you're putting out the same amount of cars, but with 40% less steps, which means you're doing it a lot faster. So now this means basically you can build a new factory that is much smaller, much more efficient and pumps out cars using the new process with less parts and less processes. And you're pumping out cars a lot faster. This is basically what Tesla has been doing. They are the only company inside of the automotive industry who had the guts and courage or the balls to step up and do things completely different. Because for many years, other car companies and OEMs, they sit back and say, no, 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 let's not change anything up now. This has been working for over 100 years. Let's not switch things up. And if you do that, if that's your business plan, somebody or a company that does have the guts and the balls to change things up is going to disrupt you and put you in a tight spot and possibly out of business. And this is exactly what is happening right now in the automotive industry. Trust me, you think that I'm making this up? Look it up. Tesla is destroying people right now with their rate of innovation and change. So rethinking how to build a factory is exactly what they did with Giga Texas. They basically figured out how to remove tons of parts and made it a seamless stream of one side in, one side out. This is their most up-to-date state-of-the-art factory. And what's even crazier is that they figured out again how to make the factory smaller and more efficient, and they figured out how to remove more parts and robots again. This is astonishing. Currently, Tesla has one of the fastest car build times in the automotive market, hands down. They are pumping out cars at a rate that no other company has even seen. The old CEO of Volkswagen, Herbert Diess, him, himself was so shocked at how fast Tesla was pumping out cars. It takes about 30 hours to make a Volkswagen, and it was taking Tesla 10 hours to make one of their cars. And guess what, people? Tesla figured out how to make it even faster. This is the point that I'm trying to stress to you guys. Tesla is not just a car company. They are an engineering company. They're innovative. They're a battery company, and they have all of the top tech engineers pick of the bunch from any school around the world and even just anywhere they all want to work at spacex or at tesla the best of the best and when you have the best of the best all the a students working together you get a different outcome compared to a bunch of you know c d b students working together i mean some of you might be offended and say oh that's wrong but it's the truth the truth is the truth you don't have to like it so basically tesla has learned from all their mistakes that they made in the past when they started making cars back in 2003 and then 2012, they released the Model S, which won every car award of the year, but no one really gave a crap. All the car companies were like, oh, whatever, let's just sweep this out of the way. And then years later, 2017, out pops the Model 3. And then Sandy Monroe, who is a car engineering expert, he was like, this is over-engineered. This is a joke. And he laughed about it, but he gave them specific ideas what they can do to help improve creating the Model 3. And then literally two years later, they made the Model Y. And Sandy Monroe, his brain popped. He was astonished. He literally said, I've been working in the car industry for 50 years as an engineer, tearing down cars, seeing how they work. And I've never and I mean never seen anyone move at this rate before. His mind is shocked, and he is an engineer himself. And when he is excited about something, it's not very often. But the people that get his panties in a twist is Tesla. Tesla is definitely the most innovative company right now that we see in the automotive industry. And not only that, the same thing with SpaceX. I mean, SpaceX is disrupting NASA. 
That's what I said. If you sit around and be comfortable and say, no, 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 let's not do anything. Let's not have the balls to make things different or better. Someone will come along one day and disrupt your entire business plan. Well, that's the short rant for the day. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to tune in again tomorrow. I post videos daily about what's going on in the automotive industry, Tesla, big tech, and all sorts of interesting things. I'll catch you guys next time.